Hey everybody, welcome to Haywood RV. My name is Josh, the RV nerd. This is 7,225 pounds. It's a Gulfstream, th this one's called a Trail Manor. They, Gulfstream makes about six RVs that are the exact same floor plan effectively. Um, I think this is the nicest of them I've ever seen though. This, uh, it, it's a big super slide rear kitchen, really nice storage. The color palette's really jumping out at me on this one. Previous owners took really nice care of it. As far as I've seen it, it, it needs, the roof needs clean. Beyond that, they added a second air conditioner. Uh, they, they added a couple little modifications, but when you hear that word, you get nervous. They were always very tasteful. They were very, they, di they didn't just go hacking away at this thing with a claw hammer, you know? The folks did a nice job taking care of this, and it's got kind of, like you see the wall paneling in the slide. There's little touches, little accents in here that uh, it's, it gives it almost like a little bit of a log cabiny type feel. Cabinet, um being a, uh, a country uh, between uh, Morocco and Guam uh, somewhere. <laughs> Giant campsite picture window too. That's one of the cool things about this one. Whether uh, uh, it's it's that big window right there, you know, and it's very social. Like you're you're directly across from these uh, you know these uh, swivel rocking chairs right there. But you've got the uh, the windows over here in the kitchen as well. There's windows behind you galore. It's it's a very comfortable model. It's a decent enough size if you want to tow it with frequency. But it's the kind of floor plan that I could see somebody setting up shop at like a seasonal campsite and uh, just just staying for a while. The uh, kitchen in this is uh, pretty darn good too. Starting up here, working our way around very large countertop on this too. It does have a little bit of a level exchange. I like those. I know some people don't. They uh, they like everything to kind of be on one flat level. I get it. It does make it a more functional uh, countertop space. That's not bad. Now that's also, that's a 12 volt compression fridge. But one thing they did down here, I really like. They added an on off switch. Catalina does that new from the factory. And I've never seen another brand do that. And these folks, that's not a factory thing. That's something that they added themselves, but it was smart. And that's what I'm saying. Where they've done stuff to this RV, where they've added or modified or changed, they've done so with like extreme respect for the RV. They haven't like stripped anything uh, away from it. And also there's a, there's a lot of very nice little, uh, oh, oh, hey, um, there's also uh, my friend Charlotte over here making her web. She was telling me earlier about some pig. Man, he sure sounded like some pig. Anyway, uh, what was I getting at? Oh, the little radius work around everything. Just nice little touches. Now, this has some of those, I don't want to offend anybody. My personal opinion, obnoxious blue lights above the slide. What is this industry's fascination and obsession? They, like... It's fine if it really matches the decor. I feel like a white light overall would be a better option, or at least put it on dimmer. They're so bright, so aggressive. They put out too many lumens of light. Now that TV was not there from the factory. That is something that the previous owners added, which is nice. The space heater down below uh, definitely was though. Once again, these are uh, free floating right here, so you can pivot those around, turn them toward the TV, and I, I gotta double check the TV mount. I think that might be a swinger mount. Now you notice over there in that hallway, there's a whole mess of cabinets. It's like a closet. This is a weird angle for me to get at it. Uh, we'll see it again in just a second. First, we are going to uh, take a little look at the bathroom space here. Um, uh, one thing I look for in a bathroom, I like a bathroom I can actually get dressed in. You know, when you get out of the shower, a lot of bathrooms are very tight. I'm a clumsy dude. I tend to bang my head on stuff. And I, you know, I, I used to play loud head banging music, but uh, banging my head... Uh, on the, uh, you know, countertop in an RV is never what I had in mind. Uh, the, uh, you know, nice radius shower right there, but this right here, there's a big chunk of storage in this bathroom, but it's kind of hard for me to, to look at from this angle. So I prepared some footage looking at it from the other angle. Also, uh, another thing that we'll take a peek at is, uh, that hallway closet space that I was telling you about. Um, it's shallow, but you notice... It's really intended to be like maybe coat hanging. You could use it for some clothes hanging space. So maybe beach towels or something down below. Like how would you how would you move into this thing? I'm always curious. 
Over here, the uh, TV is prepped and ready. Or, I'm sorry, the bedroom's prepped and ready. Yeah, the TV's prepped and ready for a bedroom. I'm an idiot. Up top here, though, previous owners added this. They added the extra air conditioner here into the bedroom. It's going to require 50 amp service. And can somebody help me with one thing? On both sides of the bedroom, there's these hooks. Previous owner added these, I presume. I have not discerned their purpose. Can somebody help me do a little RV CSI? Now, they also added those little uh, stands kind of up high on the side wardrobe cabinets there. I'm going to guess maybe for like a little phone stand, although both sides of the bed do have their own little phone stands effectively. Um, this is a Camp Queen, by the way, just to let you know. And uh, good breeze windows going across here. And once again, what? What? is that you put a dog leash on it like what what is that what we're looking at here though is very common in rear kitchens when the slides closed you pretty much lose the kitchen that's why i think that they're awesome floor plans for destination use but for travel stops not so much so i'd like to take this opportunity to uh thank charlotte for murdering the local mosquito population keeping me malaria free thank you very much spider bro and when I first saw this thing, I like, I got a snarky sense of humor. Like if, if <laughs> anyone who knows me in person just went, huh, like that's a gentle way of putting it. Um, I, I don't know why. I just got real snappy. Like I was like, hmm, trail master because trail novice would be stupid. And then I started walking through the RV and I, it, it, it really earned my respect. Like it, this is a sharp camper. I could see myself hanging out in this thing for a while. Power jack on the front, all four corner power jacks as well. You see the previous owners, again, they added that second air up top and the uh, protective slide awning over there. Uh, right above the sewer station, by the way, you do have a full outside uh, camp shower, which is kind of nice, although I don't see a black tank flush. And this is, this is interesting. Um, well, first of all, there's a very respectable pass-through compartment all the way around the front here. Um, the previous owners opted to add some magnets for a magnet holdback. The one on the door side catches. This one hits there, so this one doesn't exactly operate how you want to. But I thought about it. I've never seen someone just drill them right into the front of a baggage door like that. It's basically you're only drilling into a single sheet of Luon, which isn't very structural, but at the same time, it's just a little magnet catch. How much strength does it really need? Now that I've seen that, I'm kind of going, huh, why haven't more people done that? I also uh, became aware of the fact that this RV uh, and I share a hobby, at least when I was a kid. I also collected sticks. <laughs> you know what? All the Nintendo, all the toys in the world, you know what the best thing ever was? A stick. It was a rifle. It was a sword. It was... It was a wizard staff. It was a walking stick. I'd use it to, to beat down bushes when I'd go walking down by the creek where I grew up. A stick. It's kind of like when you buy a kid a fancy gift and they play with the box and the wrapping. Just a stick. Doesn't get much better than that. Big campsite window over here. And did you notice um, the, uh, the extra handle added to those table steps? I believe that was, once again, compliments of the previous owners there. Always gives you something real sturdy to hold on to. So like I said, this roof needs a cleaning, but uh, I discovered something of which I was not aware about these Gulfstream trailers. I've, I've seen so many pre-owned Gulfstream trailers over the years, I've never seen one with a ladder. And I'm wondering if the previous owners didn't add that themselves because this is not what we would traditionally call a walkable roof. So I am being very picky and choosy about where I'm standing right now, like right there. There's a, there's a roof truss right there. If I step between them, there's a very thin roof decking on this. I was not aware of that on these, which probably explains, I've always kind of also been like, why are they lighter weight than everybody else? That's one of those things you, they don't tell you about like just in the brochures and I figured as long as I went up here I'm sorry buddy I know it was your favorite but it's time to grow up this is I, I the more I went through this this one I, I don't think you don't see this coming like you might visit a dealership like us here at Halet RV walk through their lot 
and see everything and I don't know, maybe it just didn't jump out at you, but you step inside this one, you get to know it. It's kind of like me, it's gonna get your hooks, it's gonna get its hooks in you. <laughs> Thank you for tagging along, have a little bit of fun here. Guys, I haven't noticed anything overt, couple, like I said, little blemishes here and there. It's like a used car, it's not brand new, it's new to you, it's pretty close though. It looks real good. It's late model enough, it can actually qualify for SEMA's new financing. That ain't bad either. So give us a call. We'll get you camping, this one, something else, whatever works for you. We got a whole bunch of different things, always changing, all day, every day. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy Haywood camping, everyone. One last thing I'd like to do, thank our special guest today, Charlotte, Haywood RV web developer, where'd she go? Charlotte? Run.